what's going on everybody welcome to another episode so for today's video here i'm going to be talking about the main differences between using abs and pbt keycaps so i wanted to make a dedicated video for these two types of keycaps and mainly because this is usually the type of keycaps you're going to run across if you're looking at pre-builds or if you're looking to build your custom mechanical keyboard here so let's go ahead and get started with talking about the differences as what I've come across thus far and in particularly how they uphold over time. So on my left, I have ABS keycaps. Now these were the only ABS keycaps that I have on hand and these are from my Keychron K4. I have replacement keycaps on that mechanical keyboard right now. Just to let you know, Keychron ABS keycaps are just not the best overall. There are better ABS keycaps, you know, on the market. These are more on the budget, kind of the lower quality end, not trying to just say that these are terrible keycaps but you will see the difference between higher end abs keycaps versus lower end more budget friendly abs keycaps on my right here i have pbt and that's typically what i buy when looking at pre-builds as well as looking at building my own keyboard so i wanted to pull out a set that i just recently had um, put away so we can use these for an example as well now these keycaps are part of the hk gaming dice hub chair profile thick pbt keycap set so i just pulled a few you know from the rest and pretty much i just wanted to go over of how the main keycaps that i typically use in that keycap set and i wanted to compare a couple of these to the abs keycap set from my keychron k4 although i haven't used these keycaps in over a year it's pretty much going to be the same kind of like usage out of my keychron k6 keycaps so i already put those back on my keychron k6 which is why I have the K4 set here. Okay, so moving on to the comparison. So really here, I just wanna talk about mainly the look so over time you may come across like how abs keycaps tend to have a oily shine from you typing on them and you see they collect you know just a little bit more dirt dust typically keycaps are going to collect dust overall but it's just how well they will maintain or resist to any like dust flowing around or you know the oils or dirt from your fingers so that's how i'm really looking at each one of these right here because for the most part pbt just going to uphold a little bit better now keep in mind that again this is more of a budget you know lower end quality versus higher quality so you may say well you're comparing maybe a little bit higher quality of pbt to this abs and for the most part it's gonna be pretty much the same in my opinion if you find a more budget friendly keycap set that is made of pbt double shot in particularly which is usually what you can come across Cross, they still gonna uphold even better than ABS in my usage and my experience. As you can see here, I have the space bar of the ABS set and I know it's probably a little disgusting, but just look at the oils that have built up over time with me using the space bar here. Also too is how long I was using each keycap set. And I would say I've used my Keychron K4 set just as much as I use this set. So I used this set for about a month before I replaced them with another keycap set. And you can just see the difference here in the PBT set. Again, these are die sub. I just prefer the overall quality of PBT. Now I have placed a order for a GMK set that will be coming earlier next year. I'm excited to see how the ABS quality upholds on that set. Now everybody knows those keycap sets run at minimum $100 or more and you typically would get those through group buys so it's going to be quite interesting to see the difference most people have already concluded that those are just better higher quality abs keycaps for the most part from what i've seen they are but i would definitely do my own testing and update you guys in a future video so getting back to these abs keycaps right here they are just not the best but for the most part if you just need a quick set to throw on your keyboard and these will fit that form factor then these will get the job done until you get some better keycaps and also that's typically what i do with my keychron mechanical keyboards i pretty much immediately replace 
replace those keycaps. So um, I will also have those videos in the description if you guys wanna check those out. Moving towards the PBT here, as you can see, again, I use these roughly for a month. It's a bit difficult to see the shine on these if there's any. Again, there may be a hint of it, but just the resistance of any oils and dirt from your skin is just hard to see. And the material of the keycaps are just gonna last a little bit longer and gonna be a bit more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So as you're using that keyboard, you won't feel like you're using really dirty keycaps every time you use that mechanical keyboard. So another thing to point out with these PBT keycaps is that these are 1.4 millimeters thick. Usually when it comes to that, they are around 1.2, 1.4. That's what I currently have on hand. I haven't used anything thicker and these are a cherry profile as well. And so underneath the keycap is where you will see the difference in the thickness here. So you can tell that these just a little bit thicker underneath and will give you more of kind of like a thought typing experience. And it will also bring more of the sound from the key switch. So a lot of those things have a lot to do with the material as well. You can compare that to if you decide to test out both styles. Okay, so let's talk about price. So when it comes to the difference between buying ABS keycaps versus PBT keycaps, that can kind of vary. It depends on who's making the keycaps. It depends on the manufacturer of the keycaps as well as all the other materials that are being used. For example, like die sub and double shot, a lot of those different things and how the keycaps are made and what materials are being used have a lot to do with the price. Not necessarily ABS keycaps are always cheaper. As I just mentioned earlier, GMK keycaps are very expensive keycaps and can significantly increase the price of you building your keyboard. On the other hand, with the budget keycaps, usually ABS is a little bit cheaper and easier to make. And definitely let me know in the comments if I'm incorrect about this, but it's easier to mold and inject the legends into to the ABS material. So ABS is a little bit easier to mold. It's easier to work around versus PBT. However, again, I don't know a whole lot that goes into making each one, especially PBT. You can find budget-friendly keycap sets that are made of PBT. I typically search for those all the time, but it tends to get a little bit more pricier depending on what you're looking for. All in all, you know, you kind of just have to go between the two and the styles that you like and what you're looking for and compare the prices of both. So all right, you guys, this is gonna be a quick, simple, basic video for you guys if you're just learning and getting into mechanical keyboards here. I probably will make a, a more in-depth video for you in the future. Right now, I just wanna go ahead and share some fundamentals about the difference between ABS and PBT. Again, just a few things to look at when you are considering to purchase either ABS or PBT. Again, it varies on the quality for ABS a lot of times because that affects the price, whether those are budget keycaps or higher end ABS keycaps versus PBT, you typically gonna find some good all around budget or higher end keycaps. This, this is just a material that I prefer to use and type on because I do type a lot. So hopefully you guys know the drill and you consider subscribing. Um, I do have more videos coming out as well as currently having other videos on my channel for you guys to check out. If you found the video helpful, hopefully you leave a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment if I forgot to mention it. a few basic things for other people to know. If you know someone who's interested in trying to learn the difference between ABS and PBT keycaps, hopefully share the video with them as well and they can get a sense of idea, direction of which one they would prefer, or which one would they like to go with, or if they just need to consider price and just go with budget-friendly options between the two. Hopefully this also gives them some sense of direction with that information as well. So all right, you guys, that pretty much is gonna wrap up this video and I will catch you in my next one. Peace.